Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious, and uh, this is not a tutorial video or anything like this. This is a uh, bug report or a troubleshooting video. So I'm actually trying to figure out something going on here on my network that has to do with my Plex server. Uh, we just got done doing the 10 gigabit upgrade to the network, and it's working perfectly fine. The, the test results are showing it's great. Um, but I started noticing some connectivity issues with Plex today and I've been troubleshooting all day and I have narrowed it down to upgrading to 10 gigabit started messing it up so let's um let's backtrack and kind of go over everything here in the process of troubleshooting I was reverting back to the gigabit link and noticing that that does resolve the Plex connectivity issue um, when I say connectivity I mean straight up like we can just go in here and we can ping we'll, we'll ping uh, all the jails so we'll start with one of the transmission jails. And we get nice clean pings. There's nothing that's dropped. It responds immediately and we can repeat that. We go try one of the other jails, uh, such as the other transmission one. We get nice instant response. It pings no problem. And we can repeat that. We go ping the Plex jail. And what we're going to get is about half of our pings answered. You can see we get timeout. Eventually you'll get something to come through and it's just slow and it's sporadic. So you would think something's wrong with the networking here, but I can ping the free NAS VM. I can ping the ESXi host. Every virtual machine on here, let's go to the ESXi real quick. All right, so currently the way we have this configured is we have several virtual machines. FreeNAS is virtualized under the network. We have two uplinks. I've tried disabling the second one. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, it's also not being used for load balancing. It's on standby. So through the 10 gigabit NIC, just Plex is having an issue. And it, that, as a jail, it's configured exactly the same as the other two. I even upgraded FreeNAS today, and these are the new IO cage jails rather than the older warden jails. So I had the issue with the warden jail. I thought maybe I'll try upgrading that didn't fix it either. Now let's get into the craziest thing here. So it's, um, I'm not too familiar with IO cage yet. Um, IO cage console, I think it is. Yep, console. Plex. That should take me into my Plex. Free. Yep, there we go. So here's the crazy, crazy thing. I know it's software related, not jail related, because if I stop the Plex services, it resolves the issue. So let's do service, Plex media, server, Plex pass, stop. So we stopped the Plex services on that jail, and now we'll try to communicate to that jail again. And give it a second. And from here, we'll get clean pings, instant response, no issues. So whatever is happening on that jail with Plex just goes crazy on 10 gigabit. Now here's the weird thing. So we'll start this back up. We'll see the issue come back. It'll ping cleanly for a moment <clears throat> until those services actually get up and running. And then we'll start dropping our pings again. And we'll wait for that to happen. Here it goes. So we start having communication issues again. We're dropping. Let's go back here and change back to the one gigabit link. So we'll modify this and we'll say, Use the gigabit link, make it active, and turn off 10 gigabit link. So we just slowed it down. And now if we go back to the Plex, some ARP will go through, it'll do some communication here. Okay, from here forward, watch, no issues.
All right, it's making me a liar. Last time I tried this, it fixed it, but I also didn't just change the um, the primary order. Actually, it removed the 10 gigabit uplink. Uh, waiting, waiting. All right, now it has gone through. So just took a little bit longer. Oh, it's still doing it. All righty then. Let's, uh, let's go remove the uplink and see if that really does matter. So let's take the 10 gigabit out of here completely. Forcing everything to go through the gigabit link, no matter what. And here we go. So it's clean with without the 10 gigabit link the plex is clean but we know that if we turn the plex services off the, the jail's fine the other jails are fine the vms are fine my storage is fine transfers everything's good i just can't quite figure this one out it doesn't make sense and i have tried um making the 10 gigabit uplink exclusive as well just in case it was some kind of weird load balancing issue causing trouble but as we see, once I do that, the, uh, the issue is persistent. And here we go. We'll start having issues now. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and put this video up. I'll link it in a couple of threads I'll post out there on, on Reddit, maybe the Plex forums and see what other people think and maybe they can help out because I'm pretty lost right now. I don't want to give up 10 gigabit just for Plex, but uh, I don't know. So maybe maybe my solution is going to be actually taking Plex out of um, the jail and making it a standalone VM in ESXi. If I have to do that, I will. So this was Vicious. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have some answers and I'll see you later.